Hey guys, um, I am working on this project and I had a couple people ask me um, how I was doing this supplemental warp part. So I thought I'd make a little video because it's much easier to explain that way. Um, I have the whole loom threaded on shafts one and two for plain, plain weave with the colored warp. And if you look in between, um, the white, you can see that I even have this section um, threaded and slayed through the reed at, I think it ended up being 19 EPI um, for plain weave on shafts one and two. Then this section here was threaded on shafts three and four and also slayed through the reed um, at 19 EPI. So it's actually twice as dense right here um, as it is anywhere else. Um, so these sections here are, I think threaded on, yep, shaft three. So this is what it looks like if I'm just um, raising shaft three with my treadle. And then the other two right here are threaded on shaft four. And that's what that looks like. So I have plain weave going all the way across. If I raise shaft one, there are half of my ground threads. And if I put that down and raise shaft two, there are the other half of my ground threads. So that's going all the way across, even in this section. Um, okay, so I'll show you what it looks like when I weave. This is um, just a four shaft direct tie up loom. And um, so I have one treadle for each shaft. So I'm actually using two feet at a time um, to do this. So right now, um, let's see, I think I was on. Okay, so right now I am raising shafts one and three. So here's one, which is my ground. And then here's three, which is raising these up. So I throw my shuttle. There's only one shuttle for this. And B. Oh, I was wrong. It was supposed to be shafts two and three. So, shafts two and three. So there's that. Now I'm gonna do one and three, because I still want my plain weave all the way across, but I don't wanna change this yet because I'm trying to make that check. And then two and three. And I do this um, six times, and then I'll switch from shaft three to shaft four for my pattern here. So there's one and three. And I think this is number five. And then two and three. So now that I've made that section, um, I'm ready to raise shaft four instead of three. So I'm still going to one, because I was just on two, which makes my ground cloth, and then I do four. And I do find that because it's so dense through here, it helps to kind of clear it a little bit um, when you switch from one to the other of those patterns. So there's one and four, and two and four. Again, kind of make sure that it's clear. And one and four. And two and four. Um, on the bottom of the cloth, it is basically going to be the same, just reversed. So where you're seeing the ground cloth here, you'll be seeing the white threads on the underside. So if you were doing like a really long one, then you're gonna have long floats. So, uh, but that's it, that's how it works. It's really quite simple. Um, so like this would be my last um, pick on shaft four, and I switch back to one and three. 
Um, and I'm keeping my, um, I'm keeping it at six, or um, I almost did four before switching, but decided that was a little bit too, um, too short. So I upped it to six instead of five because I know that every time I switch shafts, I'm switch three or four, I'm always on shaft one. So I'm never switching to a different pattern um, when I'm on shaft two. It's only when I'm on shaft one. So that's it. It's pretty simple, um, but I hope that was helpful for kind of seeing how it all works. See you later. Hey guys, as I was weaving, I remembered one other thing um, about the supplemental warp, and that is um, that at some point the warp is going to get, uh, the supplemental warp is going to get pretty loose compared to the other warp, and you'll have to weight it um, off the back beam. You can also use a second back beam if you're lucky enough to have one. Um, I don't, so when this gets looser because it doesn't have as many in interlacements, um, I will uh, weight it off the back with like a stick and some weights um, to keep it nice and tight. Um, so far it's doing all right, but eventually I'll need to do that. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're weaving along and oh my gosh, the supplemental warp is really loose. That's because it doesn't have as many interlacements as the rest of the warp. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that too. Okay, bye.